Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Planet Explorers. So I just tried to sleep and and woke up and realized I've got this timer going on. You can see it above my head and to the left. It says prep time with a kill number. So we actually have a wave coming in. This happened once before. So we have a little bit of prep time before our colony here, our base, gets attacked. So before we get to anything else that I had planned on getting to, I think we're going to have to take care of this issue. So let's go ahead and do just that. Now we have a minute. Uh, let's see. I think I have, yes, I have these turrets. So I figure we might as well use them. And we'll kind of put them around here. Now the last time this happened, it's the only time it's happened, um, it really wasn't that big of a deal. But I don't really know what to expect here regarding this. We're still, when I say we, I mean I. <laughs> I'm still pretty new to the colony thing. I know some of you guys have uh, dealt with quite a bit of this and you're probably saying, oh Weem, geez, you're too worried. I'm not really worried, but we've got these turrets and we might as well put them down and see what happens. Now again, last time it really wasn't a big deal. These, uh, I basically had a crowd of these like flyer guys in here and I just kind of shot them down and everything was just fine. So hopefully, hopefully this will be not a problem. <laughs> Last time this also happened while I was sleeping, it uh, kind of appeared when I woke up. So, it was the second time I've been rudely awakened. Now, we've got the uh, rifle going on here. Pretty soon we're going to get a laser weapon put together. That's something I want to work on, especially with the uh, enhancement machine. Because the damage didn't seem all that great with it, but we could throw it in here, I assume, because I could do it with um, my current gun. And we could ramp it up, enhance it, make it stronger. But uh, anyway, that's something that we might take care of in a build day episode. I'm kind of thinking that's what we might do so that here in the series we can get on to other things. Now we've got about 10 seconds left. I do have the gun selected. Ammo is not a problem. And the gun does pretty good, so I think we're going to be good. One and zero. Okay, so let's see. We're going to try and peek around. Let me, let me zoom out here. Am I hearing anything? Certainly not seeing anything. Nothing's happening. Like I said, last time I had some flyers that were kind of straight above here. And I was gunning them down and their bodies were just kind of falling down, but... Hmm... Zero of three... My, my turrets aren't automatically going off, so... There's nothing close by. Let's go look over here and see what's going on. See if they're kind of coming from a weird angle, getting stuck somewhere. Eh, I don't see any activity over here either. Now it says my colony's under attack, so... Maybe that just took a minute. Where are you guys? Hmm... I don't see anything. Give me something to shoot. My turrets still aren't shooting either. Oh, there we go. That's just shooting at some in the water. Maybe it's water creatures that are coming in and attacking. Well, it did say it did that did count for a kill. <laughs> ah, here's one now. Look at them flying in here. Down you go. Okay, I hear a gun going off too, another turret. Let's go loot this guy real quick, though. Colony is under attack! This turret's out, but I don't see anything. Oh! You're sneaky! <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna duck in here and just kinda chew on this for a while. Oh, nice. Took care of that guy. Is that it? Our timer's gone here, so... Maybe that's gonna be it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, so... Really not a big deal. Now, I have a feeling that this ramps up over time, or... Something along those lines, but I think this one was... Very similar to the last one, really wasn't a big deal. Okay, well with that out of the way, I did have another creature to attack, even though it didn't have the timer or a kill count anymore, but... That's okay. <laughs> Let's look at some of the stuff I've added just recently. Now, I added the uh, beds in here because I was actually over at Alan's camp and uh, talked to one of the 
uh, recruits there that you can grab to kind of follow along. And he actually had the option to join the colony. So um, I was over there looking for materials, but that's kind of the reason why I talked to him. It was just to check and see if that was an option that was available. And uh, so anyway, when I clicked him, he said that I have no beds in the colony to use. So I said, okay, well, that's probably something <laughs> we should put in. And then additionally down here, I put an incubator. And in fact, I built the wall around uh, this front side. I already had it along the side over here. But I wrapped it around the front so that I could put this just kind of flat on there up at this corner. I think it was a good, kind of a good spot for it. So if we come in here, you can see we've got all these plants in here, things we can get going. I'm going to need to get some tools in here. I, I'll tell you now, I'm actually not familiar with this stuff. I think I've seen these in build mode, but I went around to the different NPCs and didn't see these guys. I can't click on them and see what they are. Uh, but it does look familiar. I think, like I said, I've seen them in build mode and just don't have them available here yet. It's probably an NPC I haven't got to yet, um, seeing as how we've been playing around sandbox mode here. But I'll have to advance through the quest a bit more and see if we can kind of catch up with some of that stuff. But uh, yeah, we got the queue here. This is where I believe we would queue up some like uh, farmers, some NPCs to get working on that. So anyway, we're getting close, but I do have the bed in here. So I think what I want to do next is jam over to Carter's camp and see if we can get that guy to join us now that we have the bed. Well, first thing when I get here, it says the colony's under attack. <laughs> That's okay, we're gonna let the turrets fend for themselves. So this is the dude over here. Let's go talk to Philip. I think he wants to come help us. See, there we go, I've created a colony settlement. Would you like to settle there? Let's see what he says now. All right, I'll go. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, there he goes. So he's just gonna run off. Is he gonna run the whole way? That's a, that's a long run. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you there, dude. <laughs> I'll see you there. So anyway, what we'll do is I think what we'll do is head back there. And um, did he just stop out there? No, he's still running. I think he kept on going. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and and fast travel back to the base, kind of meet up with him, and to see what this attack is all about. Okay, what's going on over here? We got the turret firing up in the air. Look at these guys. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you doing here? Go away. Like flies. Down you go. You're dead, right? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, well, hmm, I guess we'll have to loot these guys here. Let's see. Close. Go away. Let's see. Oh, I missed out. Those guys went down quick. They disappeared quick. Okay, well, we made it back here. Let's see if we jump into the colony menu. Let's go to other NPCs. Excellent. Okay, so what skill does he have? It says he's a novice hunter and his profession is... We got a couple different things here. So we could have him do farming, but I think that I need... I think I need to have some of the tools there. So we may not leave him on this. Let's actually cruise back down and check this out okay so we do have him here let's see has that guy we can have this plant in order hmm so let's see it looks like he's waiting for something I don't know what that is uh, oh is a corpse just chilling here <laughs> I'll take that oh there's one over here too let's do that as well Okay. So there's the beds. I'm wondering if we actually get to see him kind of walking around or anything. Let's uh, let's jump up here real quick. Again, all of this is new to me, kind of getting NPCs worked in here. So a little bit of experimenting we're going to have to do. That's cool. Let's see. Uh, let's go here. What else can we do? Oh, so I can have him plant or harvest. Let's set him to plant. Oh, because I said him to farmer. Got gotcha. you, farmer, and then there's the mode. That's cool. So he's farming, but it does... Oh, you know what? I bet he's still running. <laughs> he's probably making his way here. I don't suppose we can see him on the map. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, he had a long run. A very long run to go. So we may be waiting for him for a while, but at least he's kind of assigned and we can check in on him later and see if he'll kind of get this stuff going. Um, 
Yeah, because maybe the tools just kind of reduce the time it takes for that stuff. I don't know. We'll have to play with that a bit more. But I definitely want to check in with some of the other NPCs as well and see if we can get them out here. I did talk to some uh, up at the Martian camp, right? Uh, yeah, the Martian camp. And they did not have that option. So probably becomes available over time. Now the other thing I did too was to sep to kind of spread these out. Some of you guys have been telling me that, that these spaces are for where the NPCs need to stand so I needed to make some more room. So that is all set. We're all kind of prepped to get things going here but I'm probably gonna have to progress through some of the quest stuff a bit more in order to open up some more options for these guys. Now in the meantime we've got a couple other things we can be doing. Um, I talked about the laser rifle that's kind of one of the things i want to work on next but like i said that'll probably appear in a build days run uh we also want to put together a new helicopter i've been kind of missing that i actually recycled the parts so if we jump into here i believe we can see that i've got the parts for the helicopter so that's going to have to be rebuilt i'm not exactly sure when we'll do that um, we might do that soon i just hear a gunshot or no <laughs> i'm jumpy now but uh so anyway, like I said, a number of things to do. There's certainly tons of quests to do. Um, I did the last last time we were here, I did a, the one that ran into the alien camp to take them out. That was pretty fun. But um, and, th and those guys up there at the Martian camp still have much for me to do. So I'll be heading back there. But um, while I'm thinking about it, let me, let me drop down here. For those who happen to actually miss the uh, housewarming video, you can check out some of these items here that uh, people made. Got some ISOs for me as gifts. You can see we've got Hans' piano, Caleb's lamp in here. And it gets kind of dark. Uh, Planet Explorers has got this really weird thing when you go inside. And check this guy out. We've got this uh, YouTube 1 million subscriber thing that Robert made. Very cool. We certainly don't have 1 million subscribers, but uh, hey, it's something to shoot for. So there we go, we got that. Out here we've got a TV. I thought I would leave this out here, I just thought it might be kind of fun. So Chip made us a Weem Vision TV. I've got out here along with uh, speakers that Caleb made. So we'll probably get some tables and chairs out here. And you can see we got a Weemsburg sign in here, familiar to those of you who watched my uh, Banished run. Robert made that as well. So anyway, we got all that cool stuff in there. Check out that housewarming video if uh, you want to see uh, kind of those get brought out and uh, checked out in more detail. It was very cool. Well, Philip arrived just recently, so I've been kind of playing with his job a little bit. Let's see if we can get him to do a little bit of work around here. Now, one of the things I figured I would kind of test, because I, I actually want to test this out, is we're going to put the ween cannon here as you can see the durability is uh, down just a little bit nothing too crazy but if we bring that in here you can see that it's going to take 11 minutes 30 seconds to get that done so we're going to go ahead and set that in here and let's jump over here i set him to be a worker and to work when needed and we've got these options up here so i think what we'll do is we'll sign a job so it said philip works for repair machine now so we can actually see him walking over here i think he's coming this way so maybe he'll kind of step into position there. Let's, let's kind of pan back. Yep. So he's jumped in there. Now let's go back to the, let's see, machinery. And we're on the repair machine. So you can see that instead of a minute 30, it's going to take 10 minutes. So that's cool. We can go ahead and hit OK. Sure, go ahead and do that. So 10 minute timer counts down. Very cool. So that definitely saves time. And if you get enough of these guys, probably really cut down on the time on those. Fortunately, we're not really in much of a hurry. Now one of the other things I noticed as well was the incubator down here. The two items that it needed that I said looked kind of familiar. I do have one of those um, and this ended up being water. I was looking for something else and I said oh I have water so let's try this. I haven't tried it yet. Okay so we've got the one in there. So we're just missing this uh, squirt bottle or something like that. I did kind of uh, scroll through here a little bit and and unless my eyes are deceiving me <laughs> I didn't see anything like that and like I said I ran around and looked at different NPCs uh, and uh, what they were selling and I didn't see anything either so we may just have to uh, we may have to work on that a bit progress through the story a bit more and it's probably with another NPC and we do have this fertilizer palette I don't suppose that's something we can just put in here no 
Yeah, okay, it actually tells you when you do that. It's only for insecticide. So if you try to put something in the slot, it'll let you know. We can go ahead and leave the water there. I really don't need to carry that around at all. We just had to use the water pitcher to collect water, but... And that's a slow going, <laughs> that's a slow going process. So anyway, we've got Philip going, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to make sure that I double check with the various NPCs as I run into them. Cause I'll, I've only checked with a few uh, who weren't quite ready to join us, but we do have enough beds for three more. <laughs> at least I'm, at least that's what I expect that to be here, that we can have up to three more with these. So we'd have to put more down. And I thought this was kind of a cool spot. I actually didn't intend to put these down here, but when I was thinking about where to put them, I thought about having cover and they just happened to fit down there. So very cool. The colony is slowly but surely coming along. Well, this is a really bad time to have my gun repaired. <laughs> We're suddenly attacked and I've just got my knife on me. But uh, fortunately we have the turrets. <laughs> this is very bad timing. I think I could probably cancel that and take it out, but I kind of figure eh, it's fine. We'll be just fine. Where'd he go? Get back here. Take that. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Try to reach this guy. Get the knife going on. I really should make some kind of sword as a backup for these kind of situations. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Let's see. Let's try to loot this guy real quick. Where are you at? Yeah! 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 I barely left town and the colony was under attack again. I was checking on another NPC nearby and said okay well this NPC is not ready to go either so let's head back and see what this is all about and boy I'm just getting hammered here okay so this guy's out of bullets let's go let's check on these other guys here are you done or are you just kinda watching the mayhem <laughs> let's see it looks like okay it looks like he's done now that's cool let's go ahead and can we take you out of here currently in use oh he's look at that the timer just kicked back on so he was just taking a little break to uh, watch the uh, murder fest okay so this turret's low and that one's low as well let's actually check this out I know you can refill them I just can't remember uh, what that involves okay so it max is 173 I'm pretty sure this is gonna take from my from my stash. Uh, let's let's double check that. So I have 200, I've got about five, what is that, 509 total? That's probably the only two stacks, right? 509. Let's go ahead and refill this guy. Yeah. Takes directly out of my stash. But this is kind of nice because if they sit here and wreck this stuff and I have to rebuild it, that's pretty expensive so we're gonna go ahead and just refill this we'll we'll make some new bullets um, let's see I've got 200 so may not oh yeah I think I'll just have enough yeah I have two bullets <laughs> oh boy let's jump in here really quick and make those before I forget uh, bullets how many are max 553 using gunpowder and copper. I'm not using a ton of copper. Let's just bring this down to 450. Let's do that. Save some copper because I use it occasionally in uh, the construction going on here. So I don't want to completely max that out. Well, I think that'll about wrap it up for today. We had a very good colony day getting set up. We got our very first settler, which is pretty exciting. And I've actually got him running around with an ax. <laughs> One of the axes that I had made a while back because he had a wood sword. So what I'm thinking is that we need to get myself a new gun. We need to get a laser gun, something I've been wanting to do for a while. And we need to get him something as well. Now, I can actually hand him off the Ween Cannon that I've been currently using. So that's something we could do. I could give him that. Uh, he can use that to defend the place now. What are you doing in my shot? <laughs> Get out of my shot, Philip. <laughs> anyway, 
we can uh, equip him with a gun and as we have him right now he's kind of patrolling he's just randomly walking around making sure everything's cool nothing's out of order and uh, I think that'll be nice when I'm gone we do have the colony come under attack we know that we've got the turrets but that he'll also be armed with the Weem cannon now at some point it'd be nice to give him a laser as well so we don't have to worry about ammo so that's all stuff that could be coming at some point in the future but what I would like to do is to let you know that when it comes to the laser rifle and also when it comes to the uh, helicopter that we really need to make so we can get around a little bit easier in some places we'll, I'll probably end up doing those through a build days episode so please stay tuned for those as we'll be jumping back in here to uh, make those for this series but not actually doing that in this series so keep an eye out for those episodes like I said I've got an idea for the uh, laser rifle I actually picked up the materials so I've got that stuff we're ready to go so I'm gonna get on that pretty soon I'm pretty excited about having a laser rifle <laughs> so anyway I guess that pretty much wraps it up like I said a very good colony day thanks for stopping in and watching everybody I appreciate it and I'll catch you next time <laughs>